welcome back students to one more session of your relative configuration that is dln nomenclature so here i said i'll be teaching about uh, dln nomenclature i'll be teaching about rns nomenclature so in the previous video i've taught you what is meant by resumeization or resume mixture i have just shown you how is the configuration retained i have also shown you what is the inversion of configuration so please watch the previous video all uh, videos are interlinked now so this relative configuration when do we like what makes the concept means how should we start off first of all this particular configuration is means we going to study uh, for all the compounds with respect to glyceraldehyde configuration so glyceraldehyde is taken as a arbitrary stand, standard means we are going to take it as a standard and study its configuration right so let us write that relative configuration it is a configuration of all the compounds with what with respect to glycerol glyceraldehyde configuration right why we are why are you taking we are going to take it as a of which is taken as which is taken as rb tree standard right and we'll just write the structure of glyceraldehyde and then understand basically glyceraldehyde exists in two different forms one is d plus glyceraldehyde and next is l minus glyceraldehyde right and so basically even d plus glyceraldehyde when i take the structure of the molecule just see here always in d glyceraldehyde oh is on the right hand side in l glyceraldehyde oh is on the left hand side that right and here there is an aldehyde group here also aldehyde group here ch2oh group here also ch2oh group now <coughs> OH on the right hand side means it is D glyceraldehyde. OH on the left hand side means L glyceraldehyde. Opposite to OH is your hydrogen atom. Right? So remember OH on right, H on left. In L glyceraldehyde, OH on left and H on right. This is the important thing which you have to remember. Right? So, any compound that can be prepared means from D glyceraldehyde belong, belongs to D series and whichever is prepared from L glyceraldehyde, it belongs to L series. Now, now let us come back and see what is meant by RS nomenclature. So, let us write the heading RS nomenclature. Right. R stands for rectus. S stands for sinister. Rectus means right. Since term means left. Remember. Right. So basically in RS nomenclature, first important thing, what you, what should you remember? So before going into the example, I'll be, uh, there are certain set of rules which you have to remember. So this set of rules, set of rules, these are called SIP rule. C-I-P-R-U-L-E. So, what is SIP stands for? SIP stands for, C stands for your uh, CAN, I stands for ENGLOBE, P stands for PLOG. Okay, these are uh, uh, the SIP rule CAN, ENGLOBE, and PLOG. These were given by them. And this particular rule, we assign a sequence of priority to four atoms. We will be seeing with an example, RS configuration. So basically, when I have to speak about SIP rules, first, there are different steps to be followed. Yes. Let us start with the first step, step one. Right. So here in step one, priority depends on atomic number okay so remember here priority depends on 
atomic number suppose if we have isotopes so in case of isotopes in case of isotopes what do we take we take we consider atomic weight atomic weight then yes so hope uh, this is uh, clear now next important thing if the atomic number is same if atomic number is same then what do we do we start comparing atomic number of the second atom then compare atomic number of second atom and so on right suppose if there is a double bond or triple bond right let us see that condition also when there is a double or triple bond triple bonded atoms then the atoms are considered to be duplicates or triplicate means it is duplicate or triplicate so whenever there is once again when there is a double bond a triple bond then atoms are considered to be duplicated or triplicated triple bond atoms are considered to be duplicated or triplicated okay duplicated let us take an example and understand this fine right? right so first let me take an example so in this example let us follow the rules once again priority depends upon atomic number then if you have isotopes you have to talk about when you will be considering atomic weights then we said if atomic number is same then you will be comparing atomic number of the second atom then we said whenever you have uh, the double or triple bond then atoms are considered to be duplicated or triplicated then here if i take first one example carbon uh, hydrogen carbon so 3h cl br right so the sequence how do you take this uh, the sequence is in such case sequence is bromine greater than cl greater than so 3h greater than h so this will be first one this will be second one this will be third one this will be fourth one right let me take one more example ch3 ch2 c ch double bond now this is a case of double bond h2 ch3 c triple bond ch now we have spoken about third decision when there is a double bond or triple bond uh, then atoms are considered to be duplicated or triplicated we said correct yes here the c ch whatever is there c triple bond ch it is what is it equivalent to it is equivalent to one carbon c c and c now this one the c double bond ch2 it is equivalent to carbon c and c now so what is the sequence now here for this this is a sequence in this case according to the saprum you have to remember yes first one would be c triple bond ch greater than c h double bond greater than c h2 greater than ch3 so this is the order in this case according to the sip rule you have to remember this hope this is clear students now let me come back and take one more that is step 2 right so when i have to take to according to step 1 that rule is over step 2 right right so in step 2 we will uh, you know how do we visualize the molecule we will visualize the molecule in such a way that uh, the ligand of the lowest priority 
is directed away from us right so let us take one example and see that 